something George Jetson might have even dreamed about. An electric helicopter, and it doesn't even need a pilot. It's like a massive drone you can ride around in. CEO Floria Reuter. We would start it with dedicated points, let's say, um, you know, Airport. getting from Newark to downtown Manhattan. It's a 10 mile stretch, it takes you forever to get there. Uh, with a volocopter, there's no reason why this should take more longer than 10 minutes, and we can have regular uh, takeoffs and landing, let's say, within an interval of 30 seconds. And it would likely cost what a high end taxi might in rush hour. So you're telling me theoretically this could cost 30 bucks from JFK to downtown Manhattan? Let's start around 100, but we can get it probably even further down. We jumped inside to see how it would feel. It was easy to get in, and it really did feel as small as it looks. Uh, the inside space feels really small. There's about six inches above my head, six inches about on each side. It feels really futuristic just sitting inside here. Reuters says the tech is ready. They even gave it a test ride during CS's keynote, but he doesn't suspect it will make its debut in American skies. There's places in the world where it seems to be easier than, than America or Europe simply because in city states like Singapore or Dubai, the problems of the city are regulated by people that have the authority of the airspace. So just because New York says, I want to put this into place, doesn't mean New York can actually go and implement it. So when can you see this volocopter in the sky? Well, it depends which countries and cities decide to embrace it. The CEO is hopeful, though, and says give it about three to five years. Reporting from Las Vegas, Zorian Adamji, Fox 11 News.